A grieving mother is looking for justice for her four-year-old daughter who died after being rushed to a Stewart Healthcare hospital. But justice is on hold. Our NBC10 investigator Kathy Curran joining us in the studio with some of the human costs of Stewart Healthcare Systems crippling debt and bankruptcy. Kathy. And Priscilla, we found hundreds of open civil cases against Stewart and its affiliates. This is just one of many where a family claims Stewart put profit before patient care. A little girl was in need of medical care, and her mother says help was nowhere in sight. They took away my child. I can't ever get her back. So this is something I'll feel for the rest of my life. Tabitha Toy's heart is forever broken. Her four-year-old daughter, Tina, died in March of 2016 after being rushed to the emergency room at Good Samaritan Medical Center in Brockton. Tina and her identical twin, Jasmine, were born with Down syndrome, but the little girls were thriving. Tabitha brought Tina to the doctor because she wasn't feeling well. She suffered a seizure and was in need of help. She was having trouble breathing. She would have episode where her chest area would like lift off of the table. The monitor would start going off. When the lady came in, she'd shut the monitor off and they didn't check her after that. Tina's medical records show she had a high fever, elevated heart rate, strep, and had suffered a seizure. Her oxygen levels were dropping. She had swelling in her brain. Tabitha says after her daughter was initially examined and given medication, the hospital staff ignored them. I feel like we were just put to the side and forgot about. I felt they didn't care about my daughter. The hospital's policy at the time was to transfer any child under the age of eight who was in need of patient care to another hospital expeditiously and to monitor that child closely while in the ER. Tina's family filed this wrongful death lawsuit against Good Samaritan, which is a steward health care hospital back in 2019. But the case has been delayed multiple times. The NBC 10 investigators have discovered it's one of a few hundred open civil cases against Steward and its affiliates filed in the past 10 years. They include 12 wrongful death cases, medical malpractice cases, fraud and business related lawsuits for non payment of services, goods, and rent, all now on hold in the wake of Stewart's Chapter 11 bankruptcy. This is a case that should have been resolved, and this family should have answers and closure. And I don't even know if that's possible for them now. Attorney Catherine Wickenheiser represents Tina's family. The disservice and what they're doing to this community is just heartbreaking, and it's been building, and they've known it for a long time, and they let it happen. According to the lawsuit, the four-year-old stopped breathing multiple times at Good Samaritan. The ER doctor said that could be because Tina's tongue was larger than normal and may be impacting her airway. Three and a half hours after admission, Tina was finally transferred to a Boston hospital, but it was too late. She suffered major brain damage and was taken off life support the next day. It's my favorite. Hold the hands. Tabitha Toy is left with a hole in her heart. The grief is also deep for Tina's twin, Jasmine, who lost her playmate and best friend. What do you tell her? That Tina loves her and she's always watching over her. I want closure. I just, I want them to be held accountable for what they've done so that they can't hurt anybody else anymore. And Tina's case was set for mediation in September. Stewart denies the allegations. A spokesperson had no comment on any of the civil cases and the impact of the bankruptcy. Kathy Curran, NBC 10 Investigators.